MexicanSportsZone.com. We're in the middle of an awesome match between Mexico, obviously, and our own LA Blues, our local team. So we have a big crowd here. Check them out. They're all huge soccer fans, and we're so excited that they packed the stadium to watch the LA Blues play today. Looks like a great game, pretty evenly matched. Got lots of kids here watching this game. It's very exciting for them. I'm so glad the parents brought them out. Lots of teams here coming down, all the way from the expo that we were at earlier today. So we're going to watch the game, check it out, have a lot of good time, and hopefully the Blues can pull this one off. We'll see. It's going to be a tough game. I'm Jimmy Loran for KidSportsZone.com. It's a frisky night here at Titan Stadium as the Los Angeles Blues are getting set to take on the under-20 Mexican national team. And a very good evening to you all as this is a very, very good preseason test for the Los Angeles Blues heading into their sophomore season as they are going to face an under-20 Mexican national side that has plenty of players that have graduated from the under-17 national team that won the World Cup for Mexico last July. So let's go down onto the field where the action is about to start here on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. So the U-20 Mexican national team is out of their huddle and a rousing ovation from the fans as the Los Angeles Blues getting set to break out of their final huddle onto the field. And for these Blues, this is their third scrimmage of the season and they lost to the Los Angeles Galaxy 7-2 down at the Home Depot Center but rebounded well with a 0-0 tie against the Montreal Impact who are getting to head into their expansion season in the MLS. For the Blues, only five players on the roster from the inaugural season. So many new players trying to make their way onto this team that only has 10 official signings at the moment. So many of these players tonight not only in for a real good test against the U-20 Mexican national team, but also trying to play their way onto the squad here in Fullerton as we are underway from Titan Stadium. And it's Amir Abizadeh with his first kick of the game and a bit of nerves as he pops it right up into the air. 
One back by the Blues, and this is Park. Park tried to get it forward for his Korean teammate, Cho. And cleared out of bounds. It will be a throw-in. And Brian Burke with the throw-in. Headed forward, but cleared away by Jata, 25-year-old Gambian who joins this season from the Kitsap Pumas. The Kitsap Pumas up in Seattle won the 2011 PDL Championship. And that is the league just one level below the USL Pro. Brian Burke also here with the LA Blues. He was the MVP in that PDL Championship match against the Laredo Heat in which the Kitsap Pumas won 1-0. So far, both teams battling for possession, and finally, the Mexicans trying to go forward. Keeping possession through Carlos Trevino. They spread out wide, Brian Burke defending. Oh, well cut inside. Good combination, and Trevino shot. It might go out for a throw, and yes, it does, but a good buildup by the Mexicans. So the LA Blues with a throw in, but deep in their defensive end. They launch forward to the far side. Good defending by Leonardo Bedoya, the 18 year old who plays for Jaguares in Mexico. And Abizade will come out to the top of his box to claim it. Abizade, a 19 year old Iranian, is the son of. Ahmad Reza Abizade, famous all throughout Iran, as he was the keeper who kept goal in the 1998 World Cup for the Iranians, who famously beat the USA 2-1 in France. Shata, back to Abizade. Good pressure being applied by the Mexicans. But so far the Blues keeping possession. Foul whistled against Mauricio Hernandez, 18-year-old who plays for Guadalajara. And many of these players on this under 20 Mexican national team have already cracked the professional lineups. So even though some of these players are as young as 17 years old, they've already played for the pro side. Thrown to be taken by Oscar Garcia. That'll be another throw in for Burke on this near side. Oh, well left on by Alan Russell for Park. Park unable to get around Oscar Garcia, but Garcia concedes the throw in. 23 year old Korean will leave this throw in off for Brian Burke. And Burke looks inside for Garcia. Taken away by Mexico, and here comes Hernandez. Space in the middle for Giovanni Hernandez. The flying, fine flowing football which has characterized these Mexican teams over the last few years. Trevino. A good defending by Mexico and they'll win the ball back just in front of their offensive zone. Giovanni Hernandez, off to his Chivas teammate, Mauricio Hernandez. Sprayed out wide to the far side, that's not a bad ball in. Well, that was cleared away before Zuniga could get there. So the Blues have hardly had a sniff of the ball in their offensive half as it's been all Mexico inside the first five minutes. 0-0 the score here at Titan Stadium. Candido Ramirez with the throw in. Cleared away up to Alan Russell. 31 year old Scott gives it back to Irving Garcia. Garcia does well under pressure. You can see the Mexicans with that high pressure off the field hunting in packs to win that ball back. But the LA Blues do well to get out of it, switching the play. Burke screaming for it on this near side and he'll get it. Park now coming to the line. Park working on Garcia. Uh, Park thought he had kept it in, but the assistant referee's flag goes up. Garcia, 19 year old out of Monterey, will take the throw in.
And Carlos Trevino kicks it out of bounds. And Burke once again out of the University of San Francisco, Ryan Burke. Looking forward for Russell once again. Alan Russell is one of the players that has put pen to paper for the LA Blues this season. 31-year-old Scott joins from the Carolina Railhawks, but he also played in the Scottish Premier League with Kilmarnock, as well as the lower levels in England. So Russell, a tremendous signing for the LA Blues, looking to add a bit of steel to a team that kept possession really well and dominated games, but was lacking that bite in the final third and was ultimately their downfall. Club did make it to the first round of the playoffs in their inaugural season, losing three to two to eventual runners up, the Harrisburg City Islanders. Oh, and almost a poor ball in the back. Mexico able to deal with it. Park had space down the wing, but elected to play it in the center looking for Garcia. And Garcia almost unknowingly won it back. Well headed down by Zuniga. Giovanni Hernandez. The Blues able to win the battle in the center circle. Seven minutes in and no score from Titan Stadium between the Los Angeles Blues and the U-20 Mexican national team. As Park, oh, not a bad idea. Mike Lopez was arriving late. Had Lopez been able to get in front of the defender, he might have been off to the races there, one-on-one -on -one against Richard Sanchez. Uh, Lopez had a long way to go trying to cut in from that far side. Looking for Russell. Uh, it's just going to go out for a goal kick. Russell, playing as the lone forward tonight, was on his own there. He needs to bring that ball down. It was over his head, so he had to flick it on, but there was nobody to make the run onto it. Uh, when you have the lone forward like that, he needs to play as a target man, get that ball in front of him, hold it up, and wait for his midfielders to run onto it. It's Mexico looking to attack through Solorio. Uh, played out wide. A good defending on the far side by Carlos Borja. Borja's clearance only as far as the midfield. Space for the Mexicans to operate. Trevino. Mauricio Hernandez wanted to try his luck from distance. Well, he had better options going forward. Nothing to concern Abizada in the end. Played quickly to Jada. Gambian gets it back to his keeper. That's a more assured clearance from Abizade looking for Garcia, but is cleared away by Hernandez. The Chivas man able to find his defense. Garcia on the near side. That ball played forward looking for Ramirez. But instead it's going to be Trevino who's been buzzing early on. And Trevino will win it for Zuniga. Zuniga inside Jada. Jada trying to recover. Oh, the flag is up. Won't be offsides. As the referee saying that Martin Zuniga was out of bounds before he got that cross off. It's the referee's flag on the far side. Sparing Jada the blushes. As he was almost beaten around the end line. Still no score here as we're in the 10th minute at Titan Stadium on the campus of Cal State Fullerton. Ball looking for Irving Garcia in the middle once again, but Mauricio Hernandez wins it. Borja on the far side. 24 year old came through the Mexican Soccer Academy playing for Cruz Azul, one of the top clubs in Mexico at the moment. Had a stint with Chivas USA as well before joining the LA Blues last season. Borja actually spent some of the offseason training in Mexico. Oh, and a mistouch, Russell trying to take advantage. Mexico able to work their way out of danger. Garcia. Looking forward for the run of Amai. All good defending in the box. And Burke will get it off to Balderas. Balderas, another LA Blues player who has played in Mexico with Querétaro in the Mexican Primera Division. Also played with Bolivian Giants Bolivar. 
So another player that adds experience to this LA Blues roster. Solorio. Out wide and we'll get it back. Richard Sanchez. FC Dallas goalkeeper. Was actually born in Mission Hills, California. But chose to represent Mexico instead of the US. And space for Amai. He's got a player out wide. Amai will continue his run. Zuniga arrives in the box as well. Zuniga's there. Cleared away by Burke. Good defending. And even though Mexico has had the majority of possession, there hasn't been too many nervous moments for the Los Angeles Blues so far. And popping up into the space is Amai. Trevino. Hernandez. Well stepped in by Jada. Candido Ramirez. Santos Laguna midfielder can't get around Bayern Burke. And a good job to come back and support by Park. And that should be a foul on Erlise Garcia. Cuban International wins the foul for the Los Angeles Blues in the 12th minute. Borja plays it out wide. Garcia searching for the ball, but instead it will come to Balderas. Long searching ball, looking for Russell and a long way to go, but his pressure causes Solorio to clear it out of bounds. Solorio thought he had a bit more time, but he panicked under the pressure of the big Scotsman. Oh, strong tackle in the midfield by Garcia. Plays it off to the other Garcia, and he's going to get it wide to Park. Waiting for the run of Burke. Puts in the early cross. Headed only as far as Balderas, being pressured by Hernandez. And the Blues look to keep possession. Garcia in the middle, looking for his namesake, Irving Garcia. A good tackle from Park, and he wins the throw in for the home side. Irving Garcia wearing 99 tonight for the Los Angeles Blues. Was drafted out of UC Irvine in 2010 by the New York Red Bulls. Didn't make an appearance for them, as Russell has the ball stripped from him in the box. Spent last season... Irving Garcia in Guatemala with Antigua GFC. As Borja smartly plays it back to his keeper. So plenty of players with international experience for the LA Blues. As Jada gets it out to his former Kitsap Pumas teammate. And Brian Burke looking for Russell. And that's what Russell is going to do as a target man. Gets the ball, gets it to his feet, lays it off to the midfielder in park. 23-year-old South Korean gets it back to Jada. Nice switch into the far side. Garcia. Oh, he's been looking for that ball in the middle, but he seems to lose it almost every time he's gotten it, or else it hasn't been played directly to his feet. And a strong challenge from Elise Garcia, who got the ball first, but then came flying into Candido Ramirez, and Ramirez is going to require some treatment. A strong challenge by Elise Garcia, got all ball, but then definitely finished off. Oh, no complaint from the Mexican side for Garcia finishing off his challenge. So stoppage of play here, 15 minutes in. Still scoreless between the under-20 Mexican national team and the Los Angeles Blues, who will start the USL Pro regular season with two home matches against the Rochester Raging Rhinos. First one on April 14th and the second one on the 20th. And all home matches will be on the campus of Cal State Florida in a Titan Stadium. A Solorio. Get it back to his keeper, Sanchez. The 17 year old will play it out wide. Sanchez, one of the many players who won that U17 World Cup in July on home soil. Mexico defeating Uruguay 2 0 in the final. South American Classic to decide the winner of the Under-17 World Cup. And this Mexican national team, part of the golden generation with the Under-17s not only winning that World Cup, but the Under-20 side finishing third in Colombia in the U-20 World Cup this summer. 
Lost two to nothing in the semifinals against eventual champions Brazil, but then won the third place match three to one against France. And none of those players who played in that U20 World Cup in Colombia on this squad here tonight, but many of those players stepping up from the U17 side. And Garcia trying to turn, but he'll be taken down by Trevino. Free kick quickly taken by Balderas. Looking to this favored right-hand side for Park. And kills it instantly, but well stepped in by Garcia. So Burke will push further up and then promptly give it back to Jada. And the Blues will recycle their run through Borja. Garcia. Still looking for the ball, Garcia. As Lopez overran it. Now Lopez and Garcia chasing. Mexico always so comfortable in possession. And the LA Blues working on keeping their shape. As you see, no high pressure allowing that long ball forward. To my chasing. But Jata able to get it out. Burke is dispossessed by Trevino. Played inside and chested down by Zuniga, but he'll be whistled for a handball, so it'll be a free kick and a get out of jail free card for the LA Blues. Burke. Tamai applying pressure. Garcia missed touch. Trevino will win it. Good shielding by Trevino. Hernandez. Out to the far side for Bedoya. 18-year-old who plays for Jaguares in the state of Chiapas, tries to play it forward. Will be one back by Candido Ramirez. Ramirez looking for a lane, but he can't get by Jata. Good one-on-one -on -one defending by the Gambian at the top of the box. Here's Burke, able to find his way through, goes to ground. No foul, says Guzman, but Burke's pressure will pay off as he wins the throw-in. Garcia, UC Irvine product, lays it back to his namesake. So we have Garcia and Garcia in the middle for the LA Blues and Hernandez and Hernandez in the middle for the Mexican under 20 national team and both Hernandez's play for Chivas. And Chivas having a horrid time at the professional levels. They have now lost 13 straight games counting the Mexican Premier Division and the Copa Libertadores. So we're heading into the 20th minute or the 19th minute of play rather at Cal State Fullerton where the Blues will play all 12 of their home games this season and possibly a playoff game depending on how the regular season goes. Titan Stadium, a beautiful venue holding 10,000 seats. Spodoya almost getting caught in possession by Russell. Garcia. Sprayed out wide for Cantino Ramirez. Ramirez will win a throw in. And the 18 year old already has four sub appearances with the professional team this season, including an assist in the 2012 Mexican Clausura. Lopez holds it up nicely in midfield. Pass had just enough pace on it to reach Garcia. And the Blues stringing passes together, but they need to be careful under this high pressure from Mexico. Burke. Very direct as he looks forward to Russell. Ooh, that was a good flick on, but Garcia able to get something on it. Won by Zuniga. Giovanni Hernandez to Mauricio Hernandez. Two Chivas men linking up in the center of midfield. Carlos Trevino. And Tamai gets the better of Jata. As the ball floated to the far side, well headed away by Cho. And space for Tamai to operate. Gets it back to Mauricio Hernandez. Floated into the box looking for Zuniga. He's going to get on the end of the second ball. Well, hits it right to Park. Good composure on the ball by Park. Not as good from Elise Garcia. 25-year-old with two caps for Cuba before defecting in March 2008 was actually with the U23 national team 
in the Olympic qualifiers in Florida. And after their first game of that tournament, he and four of their players defected. Oh, and Abizadeh called keeper, but Jada clears. And once again, Mexico continues to retain the lion's share of possession. Twenty-first minute now, match that has been bogged down in midfield. Both defenses standing strong. Best chance of the game fell to the under-20 Mexican national team, but Zuniga could not get his cross off before the ball rolled over the end line. Garcia, Candido Ramirez. Shot to with the header. Trevino wins it back for Mexico. This time Ramirez looking to cut inside but runs into a slew of blue jerseys. And Mike Lopez wins it back. Cho. Borja. Excellent distribution from Abazade. Neatly bought down on the chest by Burke. And Burke's going to continue his run forward. Garcia screaming forward and gets it in the channel. Russell's there. Solorio getting back to get in front of Russell. Russell trying to get him to the byline. Tremendous one-on-one -on -one defending from Solorio. Oh, and a hard foul on Garcia. Has the Mexican coaches off the bench. Sergio Almaguer did not like that, and Garcia will get a stern talking to from the center referee. And Trevino, once again, Mexico really bossing the game in the midfield, but hasn't made their possession tell as of yet, as we are still scoreless in the 23rd minute. Well, Zuniga trying to touch it off for Tamai. Ramirez. And possession, the name of the game for the Mexicans. Garcia. Hernandez. Garcia once again. And this is Solorio. Could tell on that last challenge why Solorio has already broken into the Chivas first team. Most successful side in the history of Mexican soccer with 11 titles, Chivas. But really in a relegation dogfight at the moment as Russell gets it out wide to Park. Park cuts it onto his left and Garcia joins the party. Burke wants to get in on the action. And the Blues, when they do start connecting passes, are able to get all 11 men inside the offensive half. But the move will peter out with Park putting it over the end line. Goal kick to the Mexicans here in the 24th minute. Still no score from Titan Stadium. It what is an excellent test for the Los Angeles Blues here in preseason. And the Blues starting the season with a four game homestand here at Titan Stadium. They will have those first two matches against the Rochester Rhinos before taking on Wilmington in a two-game set. And only then, deep into May, will they head off to Dayton on May 11th. But the home opener, April 14th here at Titan Stadium against the Rochester Rhinos, one of the stalwarts of the United Soccer Leagues. One of the most famous teams as well in American soccer, let alone USL soccer. Irving Garcia. Elise Garcia. Burke. Oh, beautiful one-touch passing, and Garcia's in space. Lovely ball to the far side, and Lopez is on. Lopez cuts back, tried to slot it in. Sanchez got down well. Well, if you're Shellis Hyman, you're watching the game tape, you might think about giving. Richard Sanchez, his first start for the FC Dallas professional team, first team rather. 
Lopez had two assists in the loss to the Galaxy. He was looking for his first goal in this preseason. Put himself into a beautiful position. But it was tremendous reactions from Sanchez. And the first real opportunity of the game falls to the Blues. And Sanchez to the rescue for the Mexicans. Giovanni Hernandez. Candido Ramirez. Santos Laguna man unable to find his way through. A possession cheaply conceded by the Blues. It means Jata is going to have to work. Tremendous job to keep that ball in, but a poor pass from Park. A Zuniga shot blocked by Burke. Still going is Zuniga, looking for that half yard of space and gets it off. Nothing to trouble Abazadeh in the end. A good work by Zuniga, working across the box from left to right. Did a good job to lay it off, but the shot well wide of the goal. For all of Mexico's possession, they have been unable to find a hole in that back line of the LA Blues. Garcia wins it in midfield. Russell pulls off him, but Garcia elects to keep the ball. Park, 23-year-old, waiting for Garcia. Jata screaming at Burke to join him. And now he does. Looking for the early cross. Sanchez out well again. And not a bad cross from Burke, but too easy of an angle for Sanchez to take. When Burke makes that cross, he needs to wrap his foot around it so that ball is curling away from the keeper. That would have made Sanchez to have to make a decision whether or not to go out for that ball or to stay on his line. But with that ball coming right at him, instead of tailing away, Sanchez always knew he was going to come out. Sanchez, the only player on this Mexican national team that plays this club ball in the USA with FC Dallas. But he's yet to make an appearance with the first team. Balderas. Burke. Garcia runs into the Hernandezes. This is Giovanni Hernandez. Mauricio Hernandez is flying through. That's an excellent run. And this time it's Abizadeh's turn to come off his line and claim the ball. Good anticipation by the Iranian. Abizadeh out of the Tottenham Academy. Tottenham, of course, have their huge derby match tomorrow against Arsenal, the Northern London Derby. And that is a hatred that stems all the way back to 1913 when Arsenal moved from the south of Woolwich to the north of London to play very close to Tottenham. And so Tottenham fans will always claim they are the team of North London. Arsenal begs to differ. Oh, and Irving Garcia going down well behind the play. And he wasn't touched, so you'd have to think it was a muscle or something. The referee comes over to check on him as the ball goes out of bounds on the far side. And now the trainer's being called on the field. Irving Garcia, 24-year-old, out of UC Irvine. He's on the books of the New York Red Bulls before being waived at the end of 2010. So break here as we are on the verge of the half-hour mark here at Titan Stadium, 0-0 between the Los Angeles Blues and the under-20 Mexican national team. Mexico making great strides over the last few years, really has overtaken the U.S. as the best team in the CONCACAF region. Not only with their first team beating the USA in the Gold Cup this summer, but also the U-17s taking the World Cup in Mexico and the U-20s finishing third. So not only establishing themselves as the best team in this region, but also as a world power. It'll be interesting to see how many of these players break into the 2014 World Cup side. Here's Trevino. Good anticipation by Jada. 
A good strength from Russell, but no house is the referee. Russell really isolated up there as the lone forward. Long ball seeking Candido Ramirez, but Burke gets the better of him. All streaking up this near side is Burke. Russell wants it into space, but he's offside. Was just a step ahead of Solorio when he made that run. Was trying to time it. Burke needed to play that pass about one or two seconds earlier. And Russell was unable to hold his line much longer and finally was a step ahead when Burke finally played him that ball. Trevino. Hernandez of the Mauricio variety. And this is Solorio. Garcia. Looking forward to Tamai. Jata's header only as far as Zuniga. Giovanni Hernandez stabs it away from Garcia. Oh, nice little skip on the far side. And Lopez finally dispossessed by Cho. But Lopez delighting the fans with that little poke past Cho. Cho able to recover. As we're inside the final 15 minutes here at Titan Stadium, still 0-0, but the Mexicans have the ball deep in the Blues territory. Hernandez space at the top of the box. Shot well blocked by Carlos Borja looking forward for Russell, wins the header. And when it goes in the wrong direction, and this is Tamai. Getting back was Balderas. Burke to his keeper. Oh, you can see Avizade growing in confidence as this match goes on. This time getting that ball to Garcia, his first clearance was just popped up and out of bounds. And ever since they've gotten more and more accurate. Remember Avizade's first start for the LA Blue Reserves and Hey, just a horror show, but with each game got better and better and eventually played five games for the pro team last season. As Lopez is onside, flag stays down, Lopez puts it back across the danger area. Candido Ramirez late in arriving and Burke will have time to clear. Park, Garcia. Irving Garcia. His touch in front of him too heavy, but Elise Garcia continued his run and was able to win it back for the Blues. Does kick it over the end line, but make sure that Mexico couldn't engineer a counterattack right in the midfield. One off of Irving Garcia last. This is Oscar Garcia. A beautiful skill by Trevino, but one touch too many. Ooh, getting a little chippy out there. Kick from Alfonso Tamai behind the play. It'll be a yellow card for Tamai. He's really lucky to escape further castigation. Irving Garcia going into the book as well. Oh, the temperature is dropping here in Fullerton, but the action heating up on the field. Yellow card for Mexico's number 21, Alfonso Tamay. Yellow card for LA Blues number 99, Irving Garcia. Well, 18 year old Alfonso Tamay kicking out at Garcia. And they usually say that you, the referee always sees the retaliation, but never the first challenge. But this time he books not only Tamay, but Irving Garcia as well. Alfonso Tamay out of the Tigres youth system. 18 year old has already made his first appearances with the professional side. Tigres currently first place in the Mexican Clausura. Won the 2011 Apertura as well. Their first title in 14 years.
Hernandez has Lopez streaking down that far side. Well stepped in by Cho. Cho only has Irving Garcia and Alan Russell forward. Cho tried to go at it alone, be whistled for the foul, and this could be another yellow card. This is center referee Guzman. Oh, is it going to be a card or Stern talking to? Just the Stern talking to for Cho, who scored one of the Blues' two goals in that loss to the Galaxy. El Cho only has himself to blame. He could have cut back that ball and kept possession for the Blues, but instead tried to go forward and was way too heavy with the touch, giving it right back to the Mexican defense. And then con conceded the foul trying to get back. Oh, 37th minute now. Waiting for the referee to blow his whistle and get played back underway. Floated forward. Brought down on the chest by Zuniga. Well won in midfield by Balderas. Lopez on the far side. A 23-year-old will win the free kick at midfield. Lopez getting that ball about 10 yards forward. We're the spot of the foul, but he kicks the ball right back, and now Burke in a little bit of trouble. But he's able to fight off the advances of Ramirez. Now Irvin Garcia coming into the middle almost as a second attacker. Russell has the ball poked away. Candido Ramirez and Balderas wouldn't let him get away with the helicopter. Oh, and a late heavy challenge from Candido Ramirez and a yellow card promptly given. The former Querétaro man looks to be okay, taking his time to get up. Brian Burke standing over the free kick in the 38th minute. The Outlaws 153 here supporting the Blues tonight. And that's the section where the drums are coming from. It's Burke to send it to the top of the box. Looking for Garcia. Headed away by Bedoya. Oh, and Cho misplaced the header, and here's Tamai. The t gaze man streaking forward. Has the overlap from Lopez, pulls it back in midfield. Oh, and he wanted to play it into the channel for Lopez, but Lopez went out wide instead of making the diagonal run. And in the end, Abezade with the ball at his feet. Borja. A uh, poor ball down the middle, easily cut out by Mauricio Hernandez. Trevino. Hernandez once again, Zuniga. Jata gets a foot in. Oh, and Cho bought down Zuniga, but no foul, says the referee. Trevino. Every player across that back three getting a touch as now it's sent forward. And Borja getting over well to make sure that Zuniga can't get on the end of it. Oh, well, sent across the back post, but Abizade quickly off his line once again. Good distribution for Lopez on the far side. Garcia making a diagonal run, and it opens up the middle of the field for the ball to be switched to Park. Burke. Touched off by Russell. Park can't get there in time. So it'll be a throw in for the Mexicans as once again the move comes to nothing. Fortieth minute here from Titan Stadium, still nil-nil between the two teams here in this preseason special for the LA Blues. Before their season starts, they will have another exhibition match against Irapuato FC. Irapuato in the Liga de Ascenso, which is the second division in Mexican prof professional soccer.
And Arapuato currently fighting for promotion into the Premier Division. As Zuniga will try his luck from distance, but he shoots tamely into the arms of Abizadeh. And because this is just a friendly, expect to see wholesale changes either at halftime or throughout the second half. Candido Ramirez. No foul, says the referee. Hernandez gets it off to Lopez. Oh, what a strike from Lopez. Just dipping over the crossbar. Abazade looked to have had it covered, but that's the best opportunity of the match for the Mexican under-20 national team. Abazade's clearance headed back toward him in the center circle. Hernandez has Lopez at the second time of asking. A Lopez looking for Zuniga just over him, but the offside flag is up. And the referee spots it and will pull play back. Well, Zuniga got on the right side of Burke, but he was just a step offside. Inside the final four minutes here at Titan Stadium, Neither team is yet to break this deadlock, but the Mexicans just creating a chance moments ago with Raul Lopez striking from distance. Couldn't get his shot to dip in time, though, as it rose just over the crossbar before coming down on the top netting. Blues had a chance midway through the first half through Mike Lopez, but he couldn't sneak it inside the near post as Garcia comes in with another hard sliding challenge. When you go to ground like that, you have to time him to perfection or you're going to go in the referee's book. Garcia, all ball in that one, though. Jata wins the foul, much to the frustration of Zuniga. Zuniga, the only player on this U-20 roster from Club America. The Super Eagles, as Club America is known in Mexico City, play at the famed Estadio Azteca, which holds over 100,000 people. Also the site of where Pele and the Brazil 1970 World Cup team lifted the Jules Rimé trophy. And many say that was the best World Cup squad that we have ever witnessed. And as a result of winning that 1970 World Cup in Mexico, the third time Brazil lifted the trophy, they got to keep the Jules Rimé Cup. Zuniga being told no mas by the referee. Solorio. Far side for Bedoya. Lopez. Hernandez. Look at the way the Mexicans stroke the ball around the turf. Oh, it's lovely to watch but still lacking the final ball. They might have it this time. Burke's clearance only as far as Trevino. He tees up. Wormburner wide in the end. A reminder of what the Mexicans are capable of. They stroke the ball around so nicely, almost always on the floor. Abazade's goal kick in the 44th minute. Headed away by Bedoya. The Chiapas defender gets it for to Zuniga. Try to touch it off for Giovanni Hernandez. Burke weaving his way through challenges. Park on the near side. Cuts back and good job to keep the ball by Park. And just as I say that, hospital ball taken by Zuniga. Zuniga one-on-one -on -one against Jata. Into the middle, but his pass rather behind Amai. Amai leaves it off. Teed up! Oh, and another ball flashing just by the crossbar. Abizade at full stretch. Unable to reach it, but lucky for him, the ball goes just wide. And for all their passing, the Mexicans' best opportunities have come from distance in this first half. Final 10 seconds of first half normal time. Can't imagine that much is going to be added here in a friendly. And the LA Blues hoping to get into the locker room at 0-0 as the U-20 Mexican national team has really come on strong here in the final five minutes. Jata, Cho, Lopez, Bedoya hassling him. 
Oh, and Garcia had Park on the far side, but well intercepted by Candido Ramirez. And Trevino will give it back. Garcia. Trevino. The Ole is starting to ring out from the terraces here at Titan Stadium as we are now in first half stoppage time. Solorio. And now the Mexicans look to go forward. Popping up into that pocket of space is Amai. And the Blues doing a good job to keep their shape. Uh, Hernandez trying to touch it forward and it will be a free kick. So perhaps one last chance for the Mexicans in this first half. And for all their enterprise going forward, will the opening goal come from a set piece for the Mexicans? You have to have the feeling that once the Blues clear this out, if they do clear it out, that that's going to be in the first half. Teased into the mix. Well, it's going to go off park, so it'll be a corner kick for the Mexicans as the center referee lets them play here in first half stoppage time. That's going to be an in-swinger from the near side. Oh, nobody coming short. Uh, the referee, well, has he blown his whistle for halftime? No, he's just saying, keep your arms down in the box. Here comes the ball drilled to the near post and cleared away. And that will do it for the first half. At halftime here at Titan Stadium, it's the Los Angeles Blues zero and the Mexican under-20 national team zero. Very entertaining affair here at Titan Stadium, despite the fact that it's scoreless. LA Blues doing an excellent job to keep their defensive shape. They're winning their challenges. And when they get forward, they're getting forward well. They need to speed up their play just a bit, get those numbers forward a little bit quicker, because they're always allowing the Mexican under-20 national team to recover. The under-20 Mexican national team, meanwhile, has done a beautiful job stroking the ball around, also changing up the pace. Sometimes they have a real measured buildup, moving the ball around the back before going forward, and other times they're really attacking those channels. But right now, at halftime, it's the Los Angeles Blues zero and the under-20 Mexican national team zero. We're going to take a break here at Titan Stadium, but we will have all the second half action for you live on KidsSportsZone.com. Jimmy Laram here at KidsSportsZone.com talking to Israel Caesar. How are you today? I'm good. I saw you warming up, man. You're moving pretty quick. What do you think? Um, you know, I'm just getting ready, you know. Yeah. It's a pretty um, exciting game. So. Have you been in yet? Um, no, I'm about no. to get in right now. Yeah, I've been doing interviews, so I haven't seen. Well, congratulations. I okay. hope you guys do well. How do you think your teammates are doing so far? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we, uh, we're just um, hanging there right now, so... I mean, it's going good. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's the Mexican national team under 20. They're really a talented team, and you guys are holding your own. I think if you guys maybe pick up the pace, get you in there, Mr. Speedster here. <laughs> All right. You um, never know, you know. So I'm about to get in this. Awesome. What position do you play, Israel? Um, outside mid. Outside mid. Well, we'll be watching for you, okay? Okay. All right, good luck with the rest of the All game. Right, thanks. Awesome. That's Israel. He's one of the players for the LA Blues. He's going in. He hasn't played in the first half. He'll be going in the second half, warming up, getting ready. It's exciting. 0-0. Zero, zero. We're tied here at the LA Blues versus the Mexican national team under 20. We are the Blues. We are the Blues. We are, we are, we are the Blues. Awesome job. Come here. Let me talk to you real quick. So I get this distinct feeling that you're the Blues. Hi, we are the Blues. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you're a big Blues fan, right? Yeah, Blues fan helps support my local team, definitely. How long have you been watching them? Well, they uh, first came to the USL uh, last year before they were just like a youth and uh, amateur team. So last year was their first pro season, and that's when we, me and a couple other guys really jumped on and started supporting because uh, a lot of us live around here yeah. in Orange County and just really want to support our local club. Right on. Yeah, I'm local in Fullerton too, so this is my first time seeing these guys play. Uh, they're playing against a really tough team. Uh, this yeah, is the Mexican National game. Under-20 team. Um, how are they doing so far? What do you think? Uh, we're doing all right. We're holding our own. It hasn't been uh, too one-sided at all. Um, we just got to see how our fitness holds up. It's a really uh, new team. A lot of new guys from last season. So it's going to be a, a hard game to keep fit because I know a lot of these uh, U20 guys have played together for a while. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Good luck. Have All fun. Right, thank you. All right. 
Jimmy LaRam here for KidsSportsZone.com. We're having a good time here at the LA Blues game. They're playing the Mexican national team under 20. How are you doing, Lexi? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you, Maria? I'm doing great. Thank yeah. you. These are two Blues fans here. How long have you been fans of the team? Um, since May of last year. That's awesome. Yeah. And have you come this here to same. see them play? This is my first time here. Well, she, first time? Yes. I've seen them, but I've heard great things. Okay, do you guys watch a lot of soccer? Yes. You do. So if I ask you questions about, like, tactical questions about the game, you know exactly what to say. There is a ball and a, a goalie. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, yeah. the dudes who play are so and cute. They nice outfits. They were nice outfits. Yeah. I was talking about... Yes. I, was, I like the colors, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's neat that they went with a blue for yeah. LA. Yeah, it's a very... Natural color. Yeah, it kind of fits with the name of the Sky. name of the team. Too. Yes, it does. Well, awesome. Well, you guys have fun, and I know that you have a couple guys with you, right? Yes, we but do. They, they ran away because they're, yes. they're yes, they're a little shy. I'm glad they did because they might have broken my camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah. You. All right. Thanks, very girls. Nice. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hey, we're halftime here at LA Blues versus the Mexican national team. I got some kids here. They got to come out on the field and actually play with the LA Blues play. How are you guys doing? Good. What's your name? Dominic. Kevin. Sandra. Sandra, and you guys are all on the same team? Yeah. That's awesome. And what position do you play? Midfield. All of them. All of them. How about you? Left defense. Left defense. Come here, look at the left defense. Turn this way a little bit. That's left defense hair right there, you guys. Well, you guys, you look like you're having fun. You're all hot and warm and sweaty and having a good time? Yes. Awesome. You ready for the second half of this uh, soccer match? Yes. All right, you guys, have fun out there, okay? Thank you. Awesome. They're having a good time. They're pretty serious. Kind of scares me a little bit there. Oh, yes. Get out of my way. Back to the game. Anyway, Jimmy Loram, KidSportsZone.com. Enjoy the rest of the game. So Jimmy's here with uh, Kid Sports Zone and a couple of kids. Hey, how are you guys doing? This is Sammy. Hi, um, how are you? Good. Good. And Steven? What's up? I'm All good. Right. Now, what are you guys doing over here in the yellow shirts? What are you doing? Um, um, I got chosen um, from, from my soccer league to be here and be and get the ball and everything. That's cool. So you guys are on the sideline. If a ball goes out of bounds, you you kick the ball in? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Have you gotten to kick the ball in yet? I just give it to the goalie. You just give it to the goalie. That must be pretty exciting though, huh? Yeah, I have like three times or four. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the game, okay, guys? Okay. All right, have I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. I'm on TV. You are on TV right now. What do you think of that? Oh, you see how he messes with me? Good job, Stephen. Give me a high five, you guys. Hey, have fun. Enjoy the rest of the game, okay? Awesome. How are you girls doing tonight? Good. Yeah, you having fun so far? Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like you're an L.A. Blues fan. Yep. Awesome. What's your name? Emily. Emily and? Ashlyn. And Ashley. Are you two sisters? Yes. You're sisters. So you're, she's your younger sister, yeah. and you're her older sister. Who's the bigger pain to each other? Yeah. <laughs> so you're the bigger pain to her, right? No, she's the bigger pain Do you admit me. that you're the bigger pain? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. See, when you understand the relationship, you end up getting along even though you kind of get in fights all the time. No. So let me ask you guys, who's the soccer player here? Both of us. Both of you. Now, what position do you normally play? Forward. Forward? How about you? Center mid. Center mid. Okay, awesome. And have you played recently? When's the last time you played? Um, like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. What did you guys do? Um, well, I, I just made a soccer team I was trying out and I made it and so I haven't done any games with them yet but it, I had practices but I did good That's you just made a team congratulations and what what grade are you in I'm in eighth grade you're in eighth grade and do you play for your school where do you play I, soccer oh I play for a club I well we're playing for San Juan oh okay awesome and is that is that fun yeah. Yeah, that's a really good time. Have, how, have you played any games this year or anything? Um, not yet. Not yet. Are you it's in the spring to? season. Spring not yet. season starts. Yeah. And you're going to kick booty and win all kinds of games, right? Yeah. Good to hear. All right, girls. Thanks for talking to me. Thank have a you. fun time watching the game tonight, okay? Bye. All right, bye, girls. There's kids all over the place here for the LA Blues game. You should bring your kids down because it's inexpensive and it's really fun to see actual live soccer happening. See how excited they are to see this game. LA Blues playing the Mexican national team under 20. We're going to check out more of the game and have a good time. Thanks for watching. I'm talking to Maria. How are you? Good, and you? I'm doing great. And it looks like you're an LA Blues fan. I am. That's good to hear. And you've got t-shirts going out, right? Now, are you making a profit here, you? 
I'm not. I'm a volunteer. You're a volunteer. Do you a see? Volunteer. They, she loves the LA Blues so much that she's volunteering her time I to be do. here. I to, do. To sell the t-shirts. Do they at least give you a free t-shirt? They do. Oh! I'm wearing it. You're wearing it. <laughs> I'm wearing outstanding. It. Well, it sounds like you're having a good time. Are you, are you people buying shirts tonight? What do you think? Yes, they're starting to look at the new merchandise. It's really cool. I love the logo. I love the look of it. Isn't it awesome? It's cool. It is so cool. It's not a lame logo. It's, it's a shield, but it's all beat up because we're tough we with are. the LA Blues. Well, thank we you are. so much, Mindy. Thanks for talking welcome. to me. Have a great night. Stay thank warm. You. And what do we say? Go Blues? Yes, go Blues. One, two, three. Go, go Blues! Jimmy Laram here at KidSportsZone.com. Thanks for watching.
We're about ready for the second half kickoff here at Titan Stadium. Still 0-0 between the Los Angeles Blues and the Mexican under-20 national team. Mexico has been moving the ball around well and has had the lion's share of possession, but the LA Blues have held firm at the top of the box, keeping the Mexicans reduced to shots from long distance. So all about ready for the second half, and we already do have some changes on the field as Lopez will be in goal, or Jose Miranda rather, will be in goal for the LA Blues and expect the changes to come hard and heavy here in the second half as we are underway from Titan Stadium. And Garcia pops the header up, and Tamai wins the second header and is bowled over by Israel Sessi. Sessi, another one of those halftime changes. So we will sort it all out for you as the game goes along. I'm just checking to make sure that that player that Sessi bowled over is okay. Or Elise Garcia last year played in the center of defense for the Blues. This year he's been in the midfield. And Tamai looks to be all right. Still shaking off some cobwebs, but he will head into the offensive zone. Taken short for Leonardo Bedoya. 18-year-old will get it back to Hernandez. Far side for Garcia. Looking to clip it into the box, and Borja smartly heads it back to his keeper. So Jose Miranda in for the second half. Head coach Charlie Nemo electing to give each of his goalkeepers a half here this evening. Amir Abizadi keeping the clean sheet for the first half, and space for Ceci on the far side. Ceci looks to cut in. Garcia gets there. And Garcia has Balderas in the middle, but elects to play it back. Garcia, Cho, and the Korean will play it back to Borja. Just a reminder that there will be another friendly here at Titan Stadium before the regular season starts, and that will be on March 10th against Aeropuato of the Mexican Second Division. As Park is down, but play continues to go on. And Balderas will play it out of bounds to make sure that Park's okay. And Park looks like he'll walk this one off. So Lopez to a center back and sportingly cleared back to the Los Angeles Blues. 48th minute now, not much to write home about inside the first two and a half minutes of the second half. Long ball looking for Amai. Amai bodies off Jata, gets it forward to Giovanni Hernandez and cleared out for a corner kick. So second corner kick of the game for the Mexican side. Still no corner kicks in the match for the Los Angeles Blues. So this will be a near swinger from Hernandez. Lex to play it short. And the Blues pushing out. Giovanni Hernandez dispossessed. Wins it back in the corner. A corner kick for the Mexicans. Israel Sese in for the second half. One of five players held over from the inaugural season. Lopez, sh corners flicked on. And Miranda, unorthodox clearance, but he gets the job done. Missed touch by Bedoya. Well, speaking of unorthodox clearances, Bedoya able to get it out. Oh, Guzman letting them play. This park has come into the middle of the field now that Ceci is out wide. And Erlise Garcia has dropped back as a stopper just in front of the back four. Giovanni Hernandez hooks it out wide. Garcia with a good tackle. 
And the Blues unable to establish any sort of possession to start this second half. Tamai has been dropping back deep from his forward line to receive that ball. And this is where Sessi's at his best, cutting in from the wing. Garcia. Matt Hall is also in for the LA Blues. Matt Hall on that far side with Israel Sessi. And this is Matt Hall, 24 year old with space. Looking to combine with Sessi, makes the overlapping run, but the Sierra Leonean gives it back. Jose Miranda, Sessi, unable to keep it in bounds, so possession given right back to the Mexicans. The under 20 national side has kept the ball well, but has yet to make the breakthrough against the Los Angeles Blues. Uh, popped up in the air, but Garcia really headed to nowhere. And Garcia wins the free kick. Much the, the chagrin of El Tri Faithful. Fifty first minute from Titan Stadium, still 0 0 early in the second half. A long ball looking for Park. Garcia chasing. Lopez has creeped into the center, gets it out wide to Sessi. Oh, it's all very narrow for the Blues right now, but they work the combination well. Sessi. Just looking to keep possession for the Blues. Borja. Hall under pressure. Or Jata under pressure, rather. Hall on the far side, thumps it forward. Solorio with the clearance. Give it all the way back to the keeper. 17-year-old Richard Sanchez, Mission Hills, California native, so far with the save of the game for the Mexican under-20 national team. Denying Mike Lopez, who did well to cut inside, but couldn't slip it by him on that near post. Lopez. Chivas, you, Chivas midfielder, rather. Gets it back. And Lopez screaming for the ball as he makes the run down the wing. Uh, Mauricio Hernandez trying to play a flick. Looked like he pulled up, but he seems to be all right. Throw in right on that midfield strike for Bedoya. Trevino. Behind Solario. Park is chasing. Nothing to bother Solario. Uh, looking for the target man. Borja unable to deal with it. So the Chivas USA man gives it away, but the Chivas man unable to keep it in bounds. So the ball goes out of bounds beyond Lopez. Now Park playing as that target man. Mexico preparing two substitutions in their bench. Jata. But just looking to clear it, Park rather upended the defender. Well, that's a heavy challenge on Leonardo Boboya. 18 year old Jaguares player looks to be in some pain. As he rolled over the back of Park and hit the ground rather hard. Bedoya and Pedro Franco, the two representatives from Jaguares de Chiapas on this U-20 Mexican national side. Chiapas played in the Copa Libertadores last year. Luis Madrigal getting set to check in. As well as Jonathan Espericuta. Madrigal bouncing up and down. 
Is Periqueta receiving some last minute instructions? Bedoya still down just in front of the Mexican players, getting ready to check in. The question is, will the free kick be taken before the substitutions are made? And Madrigal and Espiricueta are going to have to wait a little bit longer to come in. This play is resumed here on the pitch at Titan Stadium. Oh, and space opening up for Lopez. Hernandez. Cleared away by Borja once again. And now the double substitution will be made by Sergio Almaguer. And it's going to be Martin Zuniga coming off for Luis Madrigal. 19-year-old made his senior debut for Monterey last October. Substitutions for the Mexican under 20 team now leaving the game. Number and Jonathan Espericueta. number 11, Guillermo Madrigal. Leaving the game, number 19, Candido Ramirez. Coming in for Candido Ramirez. Es Pericueta, one of the members of that under-17 World Cup winning side last summer, made his first team debut with Tigres last September. Still just 17, but already up with the U-20 national team, Es Pericueta. You can hear the fans, they know who he is already. Lopez, what can the Chivas man conjure up here? Es Pericueta's first touches of the match. Sessi doing some defending. Oh, still chasing is Sessi. Garcia's there as well, and Sessi wins it back to Garcia. Space has opened up for Irving Garcia. Irving Garcia streaking down the center. Doesn't get the ball, instead it's out wide to Sessi. Former LA Galaxy man working his way into the box. The bed there, as his low ball easily cut out by the center defense. Nicely turned by Espericueta. Well read by Hall, stepped in the passing lane. Look at how quickly the Mexicans close down the space. Blues with nowhere to go. They concede the free kick on the far side. Last assistant head coach, Shailen Jariar, what formation the Blues were going to play before this game started. And he said, eh, I say it's a 4-4-2, but it really rather looks like a 4-5-1. As at first, it was Alan Russell in the first half on his own up front, and now it's Park. Then you have Elise Garcia playing as that stopper just in front of the back four. Played a lot further forward in the first half, Garcia. And now he's stepping up into that center of the midfield. Cho with some defending to do here. Able to get it away from Lopez, but it will be a throw-in for the Mexicans in the 59th minute. El Try looking to make the breakthrough. Floated in, looking for Espiricueta. Headed only as far as Lopez. Lopez cuts it onto his left foot. That's a good ball in. The flag stays down. Tamai slots it under Jose Miranda. And it's the opening goal for the Mexican national team. The under 20s have the lead in the 59th minute. The offside trap finally beaten. Tamai laid it off. A beautiful ball floated in from Lopez. Goal score for Mexico, number 17, Jorge Espiricueta. And talk about an immediate impact. Jorge Espiricueta scoring just minutes after coming onto the field. But it was all set up by the cross from Ricardo Lopez. And then the little touch off from Amai.
And the LA Blues back line not stepping up in time. Espoire Cueta finally opens the scoring. We've had to wait till the 60th minute here at Titan Stadium. But on the hour mark, it's the under 20 Mexican national team one and the Los Angeles Blues nil. And the Blues looking for an instant response as they go down the other way and get their first corner kick of the match. So the Blues looking to strike from the set piece. The ball swung in, not a bad ball. Lopez is there to clear it away. Lopez getting the job done on both ends. Another ball sent to the back post. Cisse is there. And that ball saved by Sanchez. Alfonso Tamay, what a lovely layoff for Esperiqueta, who slotted it underneath the legs of Jose Miranda. Blues unable to keep the clean sheet. 61st minute and they trail 1-0 to the under-20 Mexican national team. Park. Bedoya. Trevino. We'll get it right back and we'll spray it out wide. This is Garcia. Poor ball given away to Cho. Lopez trying to play it forward will win the throne for the Blues. And Lopez will leave it off the throne for Cho. Balderas, former Querétaro man, tried to flick it on to Irving Garcia. As Jata says, you're not getting through this time. But the space has opened up for Mauricio Hernandez. Oh, what a lovely ball across. Was seeking Espericueta, but played just too far in front of him. But you can see the footballing brain Mauricio Hernandez has on him. 18-year-old played that with just a bit too much pace. Well, Charlie Nemo's charges are keeping a good shape, but not really pressing players too far forward, not trying to win the ball high up the field. The space seems to be opening up for this Mexican side. And we're gonna have a free kick here and a yellow card. Now, it was a heavy challenge, but you wonder why the center referee didn't play advantage on that occasion. Or at least Garcia with a yellow card. And the fans of El Tri not at all happy with that challenge. Neither is Sergio Almalaguar, who is talking to the fourth official. Well, El Maguire has his whole Mexican coaching staff surrounding that fourth official. Not at all happy with that challenge. This will be the first of two games for the Mexican national team here in California. The under-20s will face off against UCLA on Tuesday night in Van Nuys. After this match, the LA Blues will go back to their preseason training before facing off against Ere Puerto FC of the Mexican second division in the Liga de Ascenso. That match right here at Titan Stadium on March 10th before opening the regular season at home against the Rochester Raging Rhinos on April 14th. Heavy challenge from Garcia, the referee pulls back play, gives the Cuban a yellow card. It'll be a free kick for the Mexican side, but now the Blues able to get all their players back behind the ball. Trevino. Oh, no foul given this time. Garcia weaving his way through midfield. Little touch on for Garcia, flicked out wide. Hall with the cross, looking for Park. Oh, and Park couldn't bring it down. Otherwise, he was on the inside track of his defender and would have been one-on-one -on -one with Sanchez. A possession cheaply conceded by the under-20s. Lopez has done so well keeping the ball, Mike Lopez. Still going as Lopez. 
has Garcia in the channel. Garcia, tamely into the arms of Sanchez. Could see Garcia trying to curl that bar to the far post. Well, too much on in that ball, rather right at the keeper. Lopez, nice little layoff for Hernandez. Trevino with the switch. Espiriqueta, the goal scorer. Good recovery by Trevino to get to that ball before Irving Garcia. Lopez almost won it. Sixty-six minute now from Titan Stadium. LA Blues trailing to the Mexican under-20 national team one to nothing as Borja gives it back to his keeper. Borja, one of several LA Blues players with experience playing in the Mexican Premier Division. So that ball goes out of bounds, comes off the terraces and falls kindly for Lopez. Lopez will leave this throwing off for Bedoya. 18-year-old out of Jaguares gets the ball back off the throw-in. Uh, Garcia had to get that ball away under heavy pressure from Ceci. Garcia managing the midfield for the LA Blues. Oh, lovely little touch from Park. Nice ball from Lopez to Ceci. One-on-one -on -one with Garcia. Ceci gets around, it goes down, it will be a free kick from a very dangerous position for the Blues. And Ceci wants a card, and it will be a yellow card. Yellow card. So Oscar Garcia, the latest player to go in Guzman's book. And Oscar Garcia, very lucky that that wasn't a red card, because he was the last man back. But the referee Guzman probably going to the yellow because Garcia was in front of Ceci and not behind him. And therefore, the U-20 Mexican national team will stay with 11 players on the field. So a very dangerous chance from the dead ball situation for the LA Blues. Valderas, Garcia, both over the ball. Garcia is primed to hit it with his right. Valderas on the left. Now Valderas comes off so he can hit it with his right as well. Sanchez setting up his walls. He's dead in the middle of his goal. Free kick from about 25 yards out, dead center. And Balderas is going to leave it off. And here comes the chance. Oh, the wall does its job. Oh, in fact, it hit off a Blues player, so it's going to be a goal kick for the under 20s. 68th minute now from Titan Stadium, and the best chance for the Blues goes begging. Is Mexico going to make another substitution? Alonso Escoboza getting set to come on, the 19-year-old who plays his club ball for Santos Laguna. Looks like he's going to replace Giovanni Hernandez. So Hernandez with a solid 68-minute shift. His night comes to an end. Flicked on by Espiriqueta. All the way back to Abizade from Lopez. Miranda, beg your pardon. Borja. Oh, rather flicked up his first touch. Was lucky that that was poked over the end line. Oh, they tell you from youth soccer that the first touch is so vital. You see when you pop the ball up like that, it's that extra second where you're waiting for that ball to come down in which your defender can close you. And now Charlie Nemo getting ready to bring on two fresh players for the LA Blues. Matt Fondi and Luis Gonzalez getting set to come on for the Blues at the next stoppage of play. But it's Cho winning the header. Bit of head tennis in midfield, finally bought down by Mauricio Hernandez. One by Ceci. Oh, Park setting off on a run. Looking in the box for Ceci, brings it down. Can he turn? 
Stellar defending in the box. Oh, and the foul on Lopez. Oh, and a straight red card for Lopez. Oh, it seemed like Lopez stepped in well, but he must have gone in high. As Guzman went straight for the red, and the Blues reduced to 10 men on the 70th minute. Well, it looked to be a heavy touch coming in in a very 50-50 uh, ball that both players had a right to go for. Uh, Lopez must have come in higher with the studs up, seemed to get the ball first. Uh, got a lot of the defender as well, and Lopez is off in the 70th minute. Uh, just a bit overzealous in the challenge. And so the Blues reduced to 10 men. The Blues had a lot of trouble with discipline last season. Plenty of red cards, finished plenty of games with 10 men. And now they're going to start the preseason off in the same manner as Lopez is off. And Mike Lopez had a very good game up until that moment. And the good news is that Oscar Garcia looks to be okay. Well, he really put himself in that position, Garcia. Did an excellent job to dispossess Sessi in the box, but then trying to bring that ball out with too heavy of a touch. And Park and Balderas coming out and coming in for them is Matt Fondi, who joins this season from another USL Pro squad, the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And Luis Gonzalez, 22-year-old out of Cal Poly Pomona, makes his way in for the final 20 minutes. As that ball played behind Madrigal, and will go all the way through to Miranda. And Miranda really left for dead on that goal scored by Esperi Kuta. And Gonzalez's first action, can't quite get to it, and the ball will roll all the way through for Sanchez. Getting back to that goal, though, Jose Miranda had his hand up asking for offside. If he had just attacked the ball, he could have closed down the angle. But because he wasn't playing the whistle, was asking for that offside before finally getting set and trying to charge out. I think that's a big reason why he got beaten. Nifty little flick from Trevino. Amai, the architect of the goal for the Mexicans. And finally, a bit higher pressure from the Blues, and that's another high boot. And this could very well be the second straight red card, and indeed it is. Oh, well, Matt Hall coming on as a second half sub will go off. Well, it's Israel Sessi, beg your pardon. He was a second half sub. Just 27 minutes on the field for Sessi before he's sent off. And now the Los Angeles Blues will have to finish this game with nine men. As Sessi came in with a high boot. As Sessi will make the long walk to the showers. Confirmation over the PA speaker of the two substitutions made by Charlie Nemo. Well, it's going to be interesting now for the LA Blues as they're going to play the last 17 minutes with just 10 men. Just nine men, rather. Sanchez, 17-year-old FC Dallas man, plays it out wide. Hernandez, dispossessed by Gonzalez. This is Fondi, his first action of the game. Cho will go all the way back to Miranda. Poor clearance from the keeper. Gonna fall for Trevino. He can't bring it down, and Fondi with, on the chest. Has it smacked away from him by Trevino. The Mexicans will look to possess the ball in the 74th minute. They lead just one nothing over the LA Blues, but the Blues down to nine men. Two red, straight red cards in quick succession. First to Lopez and then to Ceci. I would say those two red cards came within the space of 10 minutes. The Blues really shooting themselves in the foot because it's the narrowest of margins for the Mexican side. But the Blues playing two men down. 
for the final 15 minutes and change here at Titan Stadium. Well, the good news is that it's just preseason, so Mike Lopez and Israel Sessi won't be suspended for a further game. And they can feature against Irapuato. Oh, another poor touch from Fondi. 22-year-old out of UC Santa Cruz. Hasn't really gotten himself into this match since coming on as a substitute. Really he's yet to find his feet. Well defended by Matt Hall. Still going as Hall under heavy pressure. And the double team almost wins out. But it will go out of bounds off of Escoboza. Final 15 minutes from Titan Stadium. Blues trailing to the U20 Mexican national team, 1-0. But they are down to nine men on the field of play. So this is better from Fondi. Really nowhere to go with it under the double team pressure in the corner. And now another double substitution for the Mexico under 20s. Pedro Franco getting set to come in. as well as Uvaldo Luna Martinez. And Martinez making his way onto the field right now, actually born in Houston, Texas. But plays his club ball with Tigres, the 18-year-old. And another player is representing Mexico instead of the United States. Now, it wasn't a bad ball into the box, but no LA Blue players were on the prowl. Here comes the counterattack against what is now a three-man back line for the LA Blues since the dismissals of Mike Lopez and Israel Sessi. Oh, and space for the shot, nothing to concern Miranda. Plenty of options going forward, but there was space in the middle for that shot to be taken. as it was Pedro Franco trying to make an immediate impact. Luna chasing, but doing a good job to get back and cutting him off is Cho. And Cho will clear it into touch, so it'll be a throw in for the Mexican under 20s, right on the 77th minute mark here at Titan Stadium. Blues down two men, so the Mexicans looking to tack on to their one nothing advantage. And that space is gonna be open for that shot all night, or that little ball slipped in. Trevino loses the battle with Erlise Garcia, but it's the Mexican side that wins the war in midfield. They have really bossed this game in terms of the possession stats, the under-20 Mexican national team. And the ball floated forward, but this time offside against the Mexicans as Espere Cueta was just two steps ahead of that back line for the LA Blues. Well, the Blues offside trap has only been beaten once tonight, but it proved to be fatal as Espericueta, with one of really his first few touches of the match, slotted the ball home after a nice little layoff from Amai. Fondi chasing. They just look so comfortable in possessions, the Mexican. Espiricueta. Oh, nice starting run inside for Escobosa. Has players waiting in the middle. Oh, it wasn't a bad cross, but arriving late at the back post is Martinez. Franco. Haguaras man gets it off to Martinez. Franco continued his run, and he's offside. Looked to me that Jetta in the middle had kept him on, but the assistant referee disagrees. Give him the benefit of the doubt. So Jose Miranda coming out to take this free kick for the LA Blues in the 80th minute. Miranda trying to push his charges forward. Settled by Martinez. 
Hall will win the ball in midfield. Blues have done a good job to keep possession in this game, but just as last year, really lacking that bite in the final third. Charlie Nemo has completely overhauled his roster from the inaugural season. Just five players left over from the side that went to the first round of the playoffs last year. So can expect to see a very different side here in the sophomore season for the LA Blues. But so far, two of the main problems left over from last year have shown themselves once again in the form of indiscipline with two players being sent off already tonight and also just lacking that verve and vigor in the final third. And Blues did score 30 six goals last year in 25 games. Ball floated into the mix from Cho. Headed down, but Garcia was late in breaking. Cleared out by the under 20s. Pushed forward. Oh, White is over to make the challenge. Cho. Matt Hall. Oh, good ball played in for Garcia. Well defended from Solorio. Oh, and Garcia went down hard. It was a clean and fair challenge by Solorio. Did get all ball, but Garcia's trailing foot rather went backwards as he went down. And Garcia is going to hop off to receive treatment. So for the moment, the Blues are down to eight players. As Luis Gonzalez is going to take the throw in. In for Fondi. Former Pittsburgh Riverhound touches it back and poor ball into the middle from Luis Gonzalez. Will allow the Mexicans to work their way out of the back once again. Inside the final nine minutes here at Titan Stadium of this preseason friendly between the Los Angeles Blues and the Mexican under-20 national team. Martinez looking to run it, Cho. Good defending from the Korean. Oh, Martinez gets back, and that will be a foul on Cho. Oh, Cho did the first part right, winning the ball, but didn't clear it in time. Martinez won it back, and Cho had to concede the foul. Oh, Martinez, one of two U.S.-born players on this under-20 Mexican national team roster. The other being the goalkeeper, Richard Sanchez. Eighteen-year-old born in Houston, Texas, but now plays for the league-leading Tigres. This ball will be swung in toward the back post. Miranda gets there in time to punch it away. Fondi. Oh, he looks so unsure of himself, Fondi, but this time he's able to win the throw-in. Once again, good high defending by the Mexican under-20 national team, not allowing the LA Blues to break out. Fondi looking for that ball down the line. Tamai is chasing, but it'll be cleared away. Martinez. Tigres man will lay it off. To Bedoya, who will go back to his keeper. And absolutely no pressure from the Blues. And now a little bit of pressure from Gonzalez forces the turnover. Mexican head coach Sergio Almaguer can't be happy with that. Really, Luis Gonzalez was just keeping an eye on that outside back. Not enough to cause him to hoof the ball into touch. But once again, it's the under-20s maintaining possession. Looking to engineer a counterattack down this right-hand side. It's Martinez being harried by Show. Lovely ball floated to the back post. Hall recovers well. Still work to do for Hall. Great defending to take the ball off of Escoboza. And cleared away before Fondo can get there. Boisterous crowd here tonight at Titan Stadium. 
providing a wonderful atmosphere, this LA Blues versus Mexico match. And if it looks like fun and you want to come out here and be part of the action, you can on March 10th when the LA Blues take on Irapuato FC of the Mexican Second Division in a preseason friendly before opening the regular season right here at Titan Stadium against the Rochester Raging Rhinos on April 14th. The Blues opening the USL Pro regular season with a four-game homestand. Two matches against the Rhinos and the two matches against the Wilmington Hammerheads. Uh, the Blues doing a good job to win the ball back and not allow the Mexican side to puncture that back line. But then they can't find the players up top. Final five minutes from Titan Stadium and another break is on here. Escoboso plays it in for Spiricueta. Last ditch defending from the LA Blues and once again having trouble getting out of the back but this time they're able to engineer something. Hall floating the ball forward looking for Gonzalez. Smartly played back to the goalkeeper from Bedoya. Quickly out for Uvaldo Luna Martinez. And with just nine men on the field for the Los Angeles Blues, the Mexican under-20 national team has all the space in the world to possess the ball. But you have to hand it to the Blues inside these final five minutes, and they've only conceded one goal, and that was before the two sendings off. Tamai. Franco. Oh, so much time, they can't even decide what to do with it. Finally sprayed out to this near side. A oh, cross comes in, unable to turn. Was the forward and it's cleared back. Only as far as Franco, who sends it to the other side. Pump back in, Madrigal is on. Still fighting for it, Madrigal. Gets it back to Tamai, good defending by Garcia. And Garcia looks to work the ball out, but there's only two options going further forward. And Garcia will hit it off of Escoboza and win the throw in. And now the Blues slowly pushing players forward. But they need a bit more endeavor if they're going to find this equalizer here in the 87th minute. That back line just very hesitant to push up. As now it's Fondi who's on an island all alone up front. He's muscled off the ball and it will go off of him last. So it'll be a throw in for the Mexican under 20s as we are inside the final three minutes of normal time here at Titan Stadium. It's the Mexican under 20 national team with a 1 0 advantage over the Los Angeles Blues and a two men advantage on the field due to the second half sendings off of Israel Sessi and Mike Lopez. Both of them straight red cards for high challenges. First one for Lopez, wasn't so sure about the second one for Ceci. I knew before the referee had taken his hands into his pockets. As Bodoya will go all the way back with it. Fondo with the thankless task of chasing it up top. Bodoya once again. Espiricueta. Looking to thread the ball through the channel. Matt Hall got back well. Garcia's popped up on the far side. Wins the free kick. This is probably the best opportunity for the Blues late on to send players forward into the box and pump that ball into the danger area. Charlie Namo up to the edge of his coaching box telling his players to get forward. And that's exactly what they're doing. Nemo screaming at Jata, let him get there, let him get there. Now his players are in the box and Jata floats it in. Sanchez comes off his line, misses the ball, but is cleared out by Mexico. Final minute and a half, and Tamai could be off to the races. Tamai one on one with Jata. Tremendous defending by the Gambian. And cleared for it, but Garcia will let it run as he's coming back from an offside position. Heading into the final minute of normal time from Titan Stadium. On the field of play, it has been all the Mexican under-20 national team. But on the scoreboard, it just reads 1-0 in favor of El Tri. Plenty of positives for the Blues to take away from this one. Have kept their defensive shape well and have possessed the ball at times. Martinez, acres of space on the near side. 
floats the ball in beautifully. As Madrigal is just unable to get on the end of it. Cleared away by Jata and it'll be another corner kick. Uh, usually in European soccer you would see the team that has this corner kick just bring another player over and hold the ball in the corner. But well, sometimes Central and South American teams don't do that. They go for glory even though they're trying to preserve the victory. However, Martinez looks like he might come over to keep this ball in the corner. If not, it'll be an in-swinger. And in fact, it will be an in-swinger to the near post. Didn't get by that first defender and the Blues looking to break. This is Fondi. Uh, Fondi dispossessed by Trevino. And once again, that Mexican midfield not letting the Blues engineer any sort of counterattack. Escoboso plays it out wide. Tamai flicked inside looking for Escobosa. Jada will just let it run out of bounds for the goal kick as we are now into stoppage time here at Titan Stadium. Blues conceded a goal to Espiriqueta, then went down to nine men but haven't given up a goal since. Might speak too soon. Absolute miscue from Franco. Trevino still with it at the top of the box. Martinez. Inside for Tamai. Tamai gets it onto his right foot, looking to curl it home. Miranda does a good job to smother the rebound with players bearing down on him. Deep into stoppage time now. Irving Garcia. Has it taken off of him by Bedoya. And Martinez will just hold the ball with Espericueta. Espericueta at walking pace. Uh, played behind Espericueta. Cleared to midfield. Martinez. Bedoya. Nice little move from Tamai. Space in the middle for the shot. Instead, Trevino elects to play it out wide. Good defending on that far side. And that will do it from Titan Stadium. The under-20 Mexican national team comes up victorious. 1-0 against the Los Angeles Blues. And the Blues fall 1-0 here in preseason. But they can take a lot of positives out of this match. Kept their defensive shape. Did a very good job, especially on that defensive end and just one letdown as their offside trap was broken down midway through the second half, allowed Tamai to touch the ball off for Espiriqueta, and he slotted the ball underneath Jose Miranda for the game's only goal. The Blues then went down to nine men as first Mike Lopez and then Israel Sessi were both shown straight red cards, but a resolute LA Blues defense held on firm to dis dis concede just the one nothing loss here tonight against a very good Mexican under 20 squad, which has many players that are fighting to break into the full Mexican national team. That will do it for me here tonight up in the booth. I'm about to run down and do some interviews on the field. Just a reminder, there will be another match here at Titan Stadium on March 10th, as once again, the Blues will welcome in Mexican opposition for a friendly in second division side, Irapuato FC. And then it's the opening season in the USL Pro. Regular season will start on opening day, April 14th against the Rochester Raging Rhinos. But for now, it's good night from the booth here at Titan Stadium. The Mexican under-20 national team wins 1-0 over the Los Angeles Blues.
some powerful camera. Here with head coach Charlie Namo, and of course, come off on the wrong side of the result tonight, but you have to be happy with the way your team played, especially on the defensive end. Well, no question. One of the things that we wanted to improve on this year is uh, just our, our energy and our effort defensively, and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of holes. I think all their, all their chances came from 20-plus, so we really didn't give them anything uh, in, in behind us all game, so we're happy, and I'm especially proud of the, the way the team played with nine. Um, they just kept working and hunting, more of a commitment already. We haven't started preseason yet, and they're already fighting for each other, so um, we need to be a little bit better with the ball, uh, you know, against pressure, of course, but that'll come, and, uh, you know, our goal tonight was playing good defense, not to sit in, but play good defense, um, and I think, I think we did that, and there's a, a hell of a lot to work with going into preseason on uh, next Thursday. Well, two red cards tonight in discipline was a problem last season. Are you worried about these two red cards or were they just two challenges that they came in a little high? I can tell you something. I am not worried about discipline on this team. I think that, you know, it was a chippy game, both sides. I think that they did similar to what uh, Mikey did to get his, his red. Uh, I think that was Mikey's first foul of the game. Um, it didn't look incredibly hard to me. Uh, yellow might have been justified, but... When our guy goes down, they get nothing. Um, and, I, and I completely didn't think Izzy's challenge was a red. I think his foot got caught in the wrong place. You know, I, I didn't see anything malicious about it. So I, I'm not at all worried that um, discipline's gonna be a problem with this group. I think, you know, just their, their, um, their attention to detail tonight and uh, the way they just finished the game out, I think is gonna speak more about the kind of uh, players as people we have on this team this year. Well, you are impressed with the team's effort. Was there any individuals who particularly impressed you tonight? Matt Hall. I mean, hell, he came on it right back and was, in sh uh, our, our outside backs were fantastic. Actually, all four of our backs were, were fantastic in the second half. Um, Early's uh, as a defensive ball winner in the midfield, it's gonna just get, we just put him there this week. So uh, once he starts playing into that, I think th those five guys were the highlights of, uh, of the game for sure. Um, and we'll get more out of others as we, as we get into it. So. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck in the next match against Arapuata. All right, we'll try. So the LA Blues fall to the Mexican under-20 national team, one to nothing tonight here at Titan Stadium, but you heard it from head coach Charlie Nemo. He's very, very excited about the team he has this year, was very impressed with their performance, and can expect that things will only get better. For all of us from here from KidsSportsZone.com, my name is Mark Serber. For my producer, Ted, for Craig Borja, and all of the incredible KidsSportsZone.com crew, it's good night from Titan Stadium. The LA Blues fall to the Mexican under-20 national team, one to nothing.